Hi everyone, it's Elizabeth. Thanks so much for stopping by. So I think I saw yesterday that the United States single day new cases reached a record of 70,000 new coronavirus cases in one day. So we are definitely not trending in the right direction. That is a concern and I hope you are all well and being safe. So today is time for another Friday flip. In the midst of the pandemic, I think all we can do is do things that help keep us sane and journaling is one of those things for me. So we'll continue doing that. This flip is um, of the journal that comes from that stash I showed last week. There's about uh, seven, nine of, or so of them that I made in a similar fashion that I used cardboard for the front and back covers and covered them the, cover, the front and back covers with wallpaper samples and use a fabric swatch down the middle for the spine. As I said, I went through a period of time where I was doing these all the time and I've kind of gotten out of that habit, but I really like it. So I'm thinking maybe I will at some point move back into this kind of um, style. So this particular journal is from 2009 and 2010 something along those lines. I think it starts some point in 2009 and goes all the way to 2010. I know that in this particular case, this is before I moved into a traveler's notebook as um, an everyday carry and a travel journal style. So I was doing some of my trips in these journals as well. So as I've been saying through this, this series of Friday flips, going back and looking at old journals, it's interesting to see what has changed and what has stayed the same. Now, I know one of the things that I've um, heard from people about is this idea that journals, when you look online at journals, they look a certain way, they're so pretty, people are so artistic and have such great drawing chops and all that kind of stuff. And I'm a big believer in doing journals that work for you. At the end of the day, it's a way for you to play, sometimes to vent and get things out of your brain onto a piece of paper. Uh, sometimes it, I often find it incredibly meditative. I've said this before in terms of just taking a line for a walk. I get to pages like this that I had a plan and then I created, and I'm not sure if this will show up on camera, but there's all this wonderful texture here. I like it. I loved it, right? It's your journal. Do what you want. So, I can tell that I must have been doing something where I had access to a bunch of interesting washi tape, so I did some of that. But in terms of my journals, I can see things that have stayed the same. I take notes, I do sketches, I play with collage. This is back in the day, I was doing a little bit more collage, and I think this is one of those interesting ones, is, you know, I think I had seen somewhere this quote or this question of how do you refresh, how do you take care of yourself, how do you nurture, how do you recharge? And for me, these things haven't really changed, right? There's reading a book, going for a walk, playing with art supplies, dancing to a new pop song. I haven't done that in a while, actually. Chocolate always works. And taking a nap. Yeah, things don't sometimes don't really change. So I kind of like this spread in terms of the, the multi-layers of um, collage material. There's some writing in the background. There's collage material that got covered over with acrylic paint. And then there's the layers that built on top of that. That's kind of fun to take a look and see how that looks. A page I left blank. This particular one is another one that I really liked for a while. And when I was updating my blog, uh, Kasiwa82, this was one of the ones, uh, the page I actually used as the banner. Again, all the layers that are on this page just kind of was fun. And this was January 2010. So I can tell you know, how I was working much more with different layers and um, collage materials. I don't tend to do that as much today. Another page that, um, again, one of the things I look at a lot of journals, a lot of the artwork tends to be from a Western perspective as a South Asian myself. It's kind of fun to go look at some of the, the magazines like Femina and things like that and they have such gorgeous pictures. So here's an example of cutting out a model from for some ad in, in the magazine and I had basically done something similar here. There's all these layers, there's kind of some writing in the background and then layers of paint on top but I love the texture. So 
yeah, I could do something more on that. But at the end of the day, I just loved how this page looked. And so I just left it and moved on. Same thing here. I was probably going to do something, never got around to it. Again, here's another one, uh, um, an image from one of the, uh, I think it was the Femina magazine, if I'm not mistaken. I should go see where that stash is, I'm not sure. And then, again, some of these I uh, pre-paint pages, never get back to them, and that's fine. It's your journal, you make the rules, you decide what you want to do or not do. Here's one of, the, one of those glue pages, which is kind of fun to take a look at all of those different things. I apologize for the glare, it's kind of a dark and rainy morning here, so I'm trying to put some light so that you can see the pages. Um, keeping track, I'm always taking notes of things that I want to go look up. Another one of those um, glue pages. It's just kind of fun to see. And I think a lot of these came from that trip to Ann Arbor, right? I can see some of the uh, Zingermans and Carytown, which one of my favorite places in, in, in Ann Arbor, as is the Hollanders um, store, which I believe they have shut down recently, which was very sad news when I heard that. So this is what I have for you today. Again, notes I take about books I want to read and things like that. So that's this journal. Again, like I said, it's really fun to go back and look and see how things have stayed the same and how things have changed. It's your journal. Play in a manner that makes you happy. Ignore all the other stuff that's out there. Sure, use them for inspiration. But at the end of the day, comparison is a thief of joy. Does no one any good to compare ourselves to anybody else. So I hope you are well. If you have links to journals, please leave them down below. Any questions and comments, let me know. Talk to you soon. Bye.